our holes would be divided into 13 pieces if we did 15 thirteenths. If we have A is less than B, If A is less than B, or our numerator is less than our denominator, we call the fraction that we have a proper fraction. For example, 3 fourths. Most of the fractions that we've been looking at until this last fraction were proper fractions. Let's draw a picture of one more fraction. Let's work with 5 thirds. 5 thirds, again, is an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. Since it is, we're going to have more than one whole. And we might go ahead and, and if we wanted to, instead of just starting to draw holes and splitting them up into thirds, we could divide this out before we started. We could say th 3 will go into 5 one time. with two left over. So what's going to actually happen is we're going to have one whole and two parts of another whole. So I'm going to use a rectangle this time to represent my whole. I've split my whole into three pieces. So I'm going to have one whole. So let's color in one whole. This is three thirds or one whole. And I need another hole, and it's, I've already split it up into three pieces. And I want two of these three pieces, so let's shade in two of these three pieces. So that represents one hole and two-thirds of another hole. Or you can also say that it's five-thirds. One, two, three, four, five, and then each hole is split into three pieces, so it's five-thirds. This time we're going to go the opposite direction. We're going to start with a picture and then try to write the fraction from the picture. Okay, this time you'll notice we have three circles drawn and each circle is split into four pieces. So I could, since each circle is split into four pieces, each circle represents a whole. And so one way to get my fraction would be to say I have one, two holes, and I have one piece out of four pieces of my third circle. So it's so that represents one fourth. The four tells me how many pieces things are split into. Another way to get my answer would be to count up all the little pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine and since each hole is split into four parts, nine fourths. So nine fourths means the very same thing as 2 and 1 fourth. And you can get the 2 and 1 fourth by saying 4 would go into 9 2 times with 1 left over. Or you could say 4 times 2 is 8 and 1 gives us 9 fourths. You can see how they're interchangeable. 9 fourths is the mix, I'm sorry, 9 fourths is the improper fraction. 2 and 1 fourth is called a mixed number because it has a whole number and a fraction. That's what we mean by a mixed number. Let's look at another picture. This time we have a big rectangle and if you'll notice I only have one rectangle. So what that means is I, I don't have a whole, I only have a part of something. Now suppose I was interested in talking about what part of that rectangle was shaded. 
So what I would do is I could count my shaded parts. One, two, three, four. I have four parts shaded out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. So four ninths of that rectangle is shaded. So the fraction that represents the shaded part is four ninths. Now, if I was also interested in the part that wasn't shaded, sometimes you're asked to tell the non-shaded part what fraction is represented by the non-shaded part. Well, if I want to talk about the non-shaded part, I would count the things that weren't shaded. One, two, three, four, five parts are not shaded out of a total of nine parts. So we have four nights shaded, five ninths non-shaded. You put the four ninths and the five ninths together, you'd have nine ninths or the whole thing. Okay, we'd like to be able to change from a mixed number, in other words, a number that's a whole number and a fraction, to an improper fraction. We'd like to be able to take a mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction. Okay, the way we do that is we think about what it means. If you're splitting things up into thirds and you have six holes, every one of those six holes is going to have three little thirds in it. So that's going to give you six times three, or 18 thirds, plus the two thirds that you already have. So you're going to have 20 thirds. So you get that by saying six times three, plus 2, and that gives you 20 thirds. Again, the reason that makes sense is because every one of these holes is going to be made up of 3 thirds. You have 6 holes, then that will give you 18 thirds, plus the 2 more thirds would give you 20 thirds. Let's do one more. Suppose we had 5 and 3 fourths, and we want to change that to an improper fraction. Well, each of these five holes is split up into four pieces. So we're going to say four times five to see how many pieces we have. That would give us 20 pieces plus three more. So we'd have 23 fourths. Four times five is 20 plus the three gives us 23 fourths. Let's go the other direction. Let's change from an improper fraction to a mixed number. Our improper fraction, our fraction in which the numerator is bigger than the denominator, is 25 fourths. So if we've got 25 fourths, if we're going to make it a mixed number, we want to see how many holes there are in there. Well, since we're working with fours, every time we have four fours in there, we'll have another hole. The quickest way to see how many fours we have in 25 is to divide the four into 25. So let's come over here to the side and divide four into 25. When we do that, we'll see that it'll go six times. So that's how many holes I have in there. I have six. Six times four is 24. And I have one left. So I have one. And I'm working with four, so I have one fourth left. So 25 fourths is the same as 6 and 1 fourth. And you could check the other way. 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 gives you 25 fourths. Let's do one more. Suppose we had 100 fourths. So we want to see how many fourths there are in 100. So let's divide 4 into 100. Four will go into ten two times. Two times four is eight. We subtract and get two. Bring down our zero. Four will go into twenty five times. Five times four is twenty. And we don't have anything left. So a hundred fourths is the same as twenty-five holes. We don't have any fractions left over. 